Hello everybody, my name is Dimitri and I'm the developer of Infranodus Text Network Visualization App. In this video, I want to share with you a really exciting new feature that we just added in, into the tool that automatically shows you the categories for the topics identified in your text. So as you can see here, we have a graph and we have a text. This graph is a visualization of the main topics found in this text. And so now you see that actually it shows, uh, you know, what other categories that those words belong to. So we see it's about health and fitness, disease, energy, internet technology, and we see all this data here. As you know before, you would just have a graph that would show the main keywords, um, emphasize the most influential ones with the bigger size, and then the words that belong to the same cluster, for example here, they're shown with the same color. So you can use this analytics panel and analyze the text in this way. But now you can click on this button, show categories, and it's going to show you what are the categories that those keywords belong to. And the way that it works is that it takes all those keywords, sends them to IBM Watson API, their neural network automatically identify uh, which topics, which categories those words belong to, and sends us back this data we show it on the graph. So it's pretty precise, and here you have information about many of them. And you can use it on any text. So this is a text that I wrote, for example. I have another one here that is Google search results for productivity software. So let's see how that looks like. Again, by default, I see the visualization of the graph and all the main topics, which is really good for some kind of detailed analysis. But if I just want to have a quick overview, I click Show Categories. And then it's going to show me what are the different categories that are present in this graph. So I see that Google search results for productivity software is about technology and computing, education, software. So this can be really helpful to get a really quick and clear overview of any topic. You can also, by the way, export this data. So here you have two export buttons. Here you export all the uh, keywords and topics as a CSV file. And here you have another button that can export all the search results in this case or any statements that you have, uh, but with these topics already identified. So you will have a table uh, with a categorization based on the topics for each of those statements. So you will see uh, which category each statement belongs to. So this can be really useful for further analysis if you would like to use it in some other software, for example. One last thing I want to demonstrate is that it can also be really interesting to use this approach when you're just writing like a new text. So for example, here I am, I would like to write about something. Let's say I'm interested in the relation between feedback and human behavior and how we can use technology to enhance our perception. So for instance, I add this. As you can see, Pronodos identifies two topics shown with the different colors. Then when I click on show categories, it will show me what general categories these topics belong to. So I see that I'm writing about technology and computing and science. So this is interesting. It gives me like a zoom out view on what I'm thinking about. And I can continue this text. I can even use, uh, for instance, this GPT-3 AI tool, which is found right here that proposes me to make interesting connections between the topics that I identified. So for example, here it says, what is the potential of feedback loops to induce a certain behavior in humans? So this can be interesting. I can answer this question by saying that uh, if we establish a feedback loop through technology that allows us to enforce uh, certain patterns, of behavior, it can be used for training. Add this into the graph. As you can see, automatically it identifies uh, all the topics once again, because I have it turned on, and it shows me that I'm writing about technology and computing, management, education. So this is really good because it allows me to really quickly have an overview of any text, live or something I already have. If you have, for example, uh, some research, then you can use it for that, or customer reviews, also very interesting for that use case. So try it out, uh, this new functionality. Uh, let us know what you think. By the way, it works with uh, multiple languages, but the results will be in English. 
So you can also write in French or in Spanish or in German. It's going to still give you the right topic, but it will be in English. Um, and yeah, if you like to use it, you know, let us know and we might make it default. Uh, so thank you very much. Try it out on infranodos.com and thank you.